today we will learn about admission of partner, the adjustment of capital. So at the time of admission of a new partner, the partners may decide that their capital should also be adjusted so as to proportionate their profit sharing ratio. The capital can be adjusted in two ways. One, on the basis of the capital brought in by the new partner and on the basis of the capital of old partners. First, let's look into the adjustment of capital on the basis of new partner. Here, the old partner's capital will be adjusted according to the capital brought in by the new partner. Here, there is four steps to calculate. Step number one, calculation of total capital of the firm on the basis of capital of the new firm. Step two, determining the new capital of each partner according to the new share. Step three, determining the present capital of all partners. Here, the adjusted capital we have to ascertain. Step four, calculating the surplus and deficit by comparing step one and step two. If there is any surplus in the capital that will be withdrawn and if there is any deficit, the money will be brought in by the partner to cover up the deficit. To study better, let's look into the following example. A and B are partner sharing profit and loss in the ratio 3 is to 2. The remaining capitals of A and B after adjustment are Rs. 80,000 and Rs. 60,000 respectively. They admit C as a partner on his contribution of Rs. 35,000 as capital for one big share of profits to be acquired equally from both A and B. The capital accounts of all partners are to be adjusted on the basis of proportion of C's capital to his share in the business. Calculate the amount of actual cash to be brought in or paid off by the old partners for the purpose. Before going into the first step, since the new profit sharing ratio is not given, let's calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Note that A and B are the old partners who share profit in the ratio 3 is to 2. For the existing share of A is 3 feet and B is 2 feet. By admitting C, they have transferred some of their shares to C, to which A gave one tenth and B gave one tenth. Now, if you ask how this one tenth came, we have seen in the question that C's share in profit is one fifth, which he has acquired equally from A and B. So that's how we have derived one tenth. New share is excess of existing share over the share transferred to C. So when we do the sum, we get A as five ten and B as three ten. So therefore the new profit sharing ratio of A, B and C is five is to three is to two. So now let's go to the first step of calculation. Calculation of the total capital of the firm on the basis of the capital of new partner. Total capital of the firm is equal to capital of the new partner into reciprocal share of the new partner, which is 35,000 into 5 by 1. Multiply them, we get rupees 1,75,000 as the total capital of the firm. The next step is determining the new capital of each partner according to the new share. We all know that the new sharing ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. So the new capital of A will be 510 of rupees 1,75,000 like which is 87,500 and the new capital of B will be 310 of rupees 1,75,000 like which is 52,500 and the new capital of C is 210 of rupees 1,75,000 like which is 35,000 as we already know in the question. Here we do not need to calculate the third step which is ascertaining the present capital of all partners since it's already given in the question which is 80,000 and 60,000 respectively. So let's go to the next step which is calculation of surplus and deficit of capital. We already, we already know that the existing capital of A as given in the question is 80,000 and the new capital which we have calculated is 87,500. We see that the new capital is more than the existing capital by rupees 7,500, which is a deficit. So A will bring in 7,500 more to the firm and 
Now let's look into B, which is the new capital of B is 52,500, whereas the existing capital of B is 60,000. So when we see that the existing capital is more than the new capital, which is a surplus, surplus by rupees 7,500. So B will withdraw 7,500 from the form. To understand it better, more complex sum where we have to prepare new valuation account, treat the reserves, and also preparation of new balance sheet, which we have already learned in the class. So, I, well, the new thing in this sum is the adjustment of capital. So, this is a combination of everything. So, you can see the questions, it's very long. So, I want to First thing we have to prepare is really we have already learned in class what the new valuation account is. Or if there is any increase in asset or decrease in liability debt, we have to put it on the credit side of revaluation account and if there is any asset decreasing and liability increasing, then we have to put it on the debit side of revaluation account. If we look into the question, we are asked to increase our plan to rupees thirty two thousand, whereas the old in the old balance sheet, the plan is rupees 30,000. That means we have to increase our plan by 2,000. So it will be on the credit side of revaluation account. And also, we are asked to revalue our stock to rupees 18,000. Whereas in the old balance sheet, the stock is rupees 20,000. 20, so therefore, we have to decrease our stock by 2,000. So it will come on the debit side of revaluation account. And also, we are asked to provide. Provision for bad debts on 5% of debtors, that our debtor is 18,000, so 5% of 18,000 is rupees 900. So if there is any provision, it will increase our debtor. So since our debtor has de will decrease by 900, so provision for doubtful debts will come on the debit side of revaluation account. And now if we look into the fourth it is written that the sum of rupees 1400 included in creditor which is not to be paid. If 1400 is not to be paid to the creditors, it will decrease our creditor. So it will come on the credit side of revaluation account rupees 1400. And also if we look into the question furthermore, we see that there is an unrecorded liability of rupees 5000 which is to be recorded in the book. Means that this 5000 was not recorded in our old balance sheet but now we have to record which will increase our liability so if liability increase we have to put it on the debit side of revaluation account so debit side of revaluation account to unrecorded liability rupees 5000 that's it for revaluation so if we look into the total of both the debit side and credit side the debit side total is more than the credit side by rupees 4500 since the debit side of the revaluation account is more, it is a loss, and this loss of 4,500 will be transferred to the old pool partners in their profit share ratio, which is 3 is to 2. So A will be getting 2,700 and B, 1,800. Now we move on to the part of the capital. So we see that in the question, the capital of A and B is rupees 30,000 and rupees 25,000, and this we will put in our in their capital account by opening balance rupees 30,000 and 25,000 respectively. And also we see that there is a general reserve of rupees 10,000 which will be distributed among the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio with this 3 is the 2. So A will be getting rupees 6,000 and B will be getting rupees 4,000. The last, we did the revelation account and we see that there is a loss of rupees 45,000 in total which we have distributed among A and B and this loss will be transferred to the partner's capital account so it will come on the debit side of their capital account so to revaluation account for A it is 2,700 and for B it is 1,800. Now if you see the question we see that Mr. C will pay rupees 10,000 towards goodwill so he will be bringing goodwill of rupees 10,000 which will be distributed to all partners between the old partners in the sacrificing ratio, which when calculated, the sacrificing ratio is same like their old ratio, which is 3 is to 2. So, 
A will be getting rupees 6,000 and B will be getting rupees 4,000. So on the credit side of the capital account, buy premium for goodwill account 6,000 and 4,000 respectively. If we look into the last line of the question, we see that C will bring rupees 20,000 as his capital. So on the credit side of his capital account, buy gas account rupees 20,000. So we, if we look further into the question, we see that the capital of the other partners is to be adjusted according to the new profit sharing ratio. So if you look into the working notes, here the calculation of new capital of A and B is shown. So we all know that the total capital of new firm on the basis of new partner is the new partner's capital into reciprocal of his share, which is 20,000 into 4 by 1, which is equal to 80,000. So 80,000 is the total capital of the new firm. So the new capital of A will be 920 of 80,000, which is 36,000. B will be 620 of 80,000, which is 25,000. And C, as we all know, 520 of 80,000, which is 20,000. The new capital. So let's go back to our partner's capital account. So here, closing capital will be for A, 36,000, for B, 24,000, and for C, 20,000. Now let's match our credit side and debit side. So for C, the debit side is 20,000, and for when the credit side is, it is also 20,000, so we do not need to do further anything more. But for A, the credit side is more than the debit side by rupees 3,300 which will be transferred to his current account and for B also the credit side is more by rupees 7,200 which is also to be transferred to his current account. Transferring it to the current account because in the question it is asked to open current account if there is any deficit or surplus. This is the reason why we have prepared a why we have transferred it to current account. We have come to the final step, which is opening a new balance sheet. Let's look into the liability side. In the old balance sheet, we see that creditor is rupees 50,000, out of which 1,400 is not to be paid. So 15,000 minus 1,400, the new creditor will be 13,600. And also, we have seen that in the question, there is an unrecorded liability of rupees 5,000, which is to be recorded now. So we will record it. So unrecorded liability of rupees 5,000. And also, Capital account, we see that A and B has a deficit of rupees 3,300 and 7,200 for which they have to bring in cash. So, through their current account, so current account A and B 3,300 and 7,200, which totals to 10,000. And also, the new capital of A, B, and C is 36,000, 24,000, and 20,000 respectively, which makes a total of rupees 80,000. So, when you Add all the liability, we get a total balance of rupees 1,9100. Now let's go to the asset side. The first thing is, we see that in the old balance sheet, the plan is rupees 30,000, but in the adjustment, we are asked to increase our plan by 2,000. So 30,000 plus 2,000, 32,000. And also stock. In the old balance sheet, the stock is rupees 20,000, but we are asked to decrease our stock to 18,000, which is 20,000 minus 2,000, 18,000. And also we see that in the old balance sheet, the debtor is 18,000. But in the adjustment, we are asked to provide provision of 5% on debtors, which is 900. So 18,000 minus 900, 17,100. And we see that furniture, there is no adjustment. So as in the old balance sheet, is 10,000. Here in the new balance sheet, it, it will also be rupees 10,000. And the last is cash. In the old balance sheet, the cash is rupees 2,000, and we will add the premium brought in by C, which is 10,000, and also the capital brought in by C, which is 20,000, which makes a total of rupees 32,000. So when we add all the assets, we also get the total of rupees 1,9100. So therefore, our liabilities and asset match. Let's look into the adjustment of capital that the other will which is calculating the new partner's capital on the basis of combined capital of all partners. Here we have three steps, which is step number one, calculating the total adjusted capital of all partners. Step two, calculating.
Valuation of total capital of new firm PPS. Total adjusted capital of old partners include reciprocal of total shares of old partners. Step 3. Calculation of total capital of new partner, which is total capital, which we have got from step 2 into the share of new partner. So, to understand it better, let's look into the following example. X and Y are in partnership sharing profit and loss in the ratio 3 is to 2. The remaining capitals of X and Y after adjustment are rupees 80,000 and 60,000 respectively. The admit said as a new partner who is to contribute sufficient capital to acquire one fifth share of total capital of the new firm equally from both the partners. Calculated as new capital bought in by step. So, before going to the first step, since the new profit sharing ratio is not given, we will calculate the new profit sharing ratio of X, Y, and Z. Since we have already learned in the previous slides, so I won't be repeating again, so the new profit sharing ratio of X, Y, and Z is 5 is to 3 is to 2. So now let's go to the first step, which is calculation of total adjusted capital of all partners. Since it's directly given in the question as 80,000 and 60,000 respectively, we, can, we do not need to do further calculation, so we'll just plus these two, for which we get a result of rupees 140,000. So, let's go to the second step, which is calculation of total capital of new firm. Before this, let's calculate the total share of old partners, which is... Four feet. So how this four feet came is I have shown this in the bracket. So let the total share of the new firm be one. So the remaining share of the Z admission is one minus one fifth. Since one fifth is the share of Z, so we will minus this from the total share of the new firm for which we get a result of four, four fifth. So four fifth is the total share of all partners. So let's go back to our calculation. So calculation of total capital of new firm is Total adjusted capital of all partners into reciprocal of total share of all partners, which is 140,000 into 54, which results in 175,000. So 175,000 is the total capital of new firm. So now let's go to our third step, which is calculation of total capital of new partner, which is equal to total capital into share of new partner. So total capital is 175,000 and share of new partner is one fifth. So 175,000 into 1 feet is equal to 35,000. So 35,000 is the capital of Z, the new partner. Now to understand it better, let's look into more complex sum. Since the question is very long, I won't be reading it, but you can see it on your screen. So let's go on to the solving part. The first we have to prepare is revaluation account. So if you look into the first adjustment, it is said that all the debtors are considered good and therefore the provision of doubtful debts is to be returned back. So if you look into the question, I mean into the old balance sheet, we see that there is a debtor of rupees 9,000, 19,000 and a provision of rupees 4,000 and this provision is to be returned back. So on the credit side of revaluation account, by provision for thoughtful debts, rupees 4,000. Now, if you look to the second adjustment, we see that the land and building is to be increased to rupees 18,000. And the land and building in the old balance sheet is rupees 14,000. So we have to increase it to rupees 18,000. That means we have to increase by rupees 4,000. So it will be on the credit side of revaluation account by land and building rupees. 4,000. Now again, also we are asked to reduce our plan and machinery by rupees 2,000. So on the debit side of revelation account, rupees 2,000. So when you see the total of debit side and credit side, we see that the credit side total is 8,000, which is 6,000 more than the debit side. So this 6,000 is a profit, which will be transferred to the Capital account of all partners in their old profit sharing ratio, which is 3 is to 2. So, therefore, A will get rupees 3600 and B will get rupees 2400. So, now we will go to the next 
which is preparing capital account. First, we will put the opening balance of capital account of A, A, A and B. So the opening capital of A is 8,000 and the opening capital of, rupees of B is rupees 10,000. And also when we see the old balance sheet, there is a general reserve of rupees 12,000. And this general reserve will be will be shared by the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio, which is 3 is to 2. So A will get rupees 7,200 and B will get rupees 4,800. And also we see that there is a workman compensation fund of rupees 5,000. We see that before distributing this workman compensation fund, there is an adjustment for this, which is the liability against workman compensation fund is determined at rupees 2000, which is to be paid later in the year. So out of 5000, 2000 is to be paid later in the year. So this 3000 will be distributed between the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio, which is for which A will get rupees 1800 and B will get rupees 1200. And the profit from revelation will be transferred to this capital account. So, by revelation account, will be three thousand six hundred, and for B, it will be two thousand four hundred. If we look into the question, we see that C will bring a goodwill of rupees ten thousand in cash. So, this ten thousand will be shared by the old partners in their sacrificing ratio, which is same as their old profit sharing ratio, which is three is to two. Since the question doesn't specify it, for which A will get to be 6,000 and B will get to be 4,000. So the only thing remaining is to calculate the capital brought in by C. So when we look into the question, it is written that C will bring cash so as to make her capital equal to one fifth of the total capital of the new firm. So let's do the calculation. So calculation of C's capital, which we will be following the steps which we have learned previously. So the first thing is calculation of adjusted capital of the old partners A and B. So the adjusted capital of old partners is 26,600 and B is 22,400. So when you add these two, we get a total of rupees 49,000. The next step is calculating the total capital of the firm, which is 29,000 into 54, for which we get a figure of rupees 61,250. Now, if you ask how this 5-4 came, this is just like the previous sum, which is a reciprocal of the total share of all partners. Since we have already learned how to calculate the total share of all partners, in the previous example, a detailed explanation is not shown here. So therefore, the total capital of the firm will be 49,000 into 54, which is 61,250. Therefore, the capital of C will be 61,250 into one fifth. One fifth is his share in the profit sharing ratio. So 61,250 into one fifth is 12,250. The 12,250 is the capital of C, which he will bring in cash. So in the capital account, in C's column, we will write by cash account rupees 12,250. So now we will prepare the balance sheet. So on the liability side, there is a workman compensation fund of rupees 2000 which is to be paid later in the year. So this will come on the liability side, workman compensation fund. And also if you look into the old balance sheet, there is a creditor of rupees 15,000. Since there is no any adjustment, the same creditor will come here in the liability side as 15,000. And also the capital accounts of A, B and C. Since in our capital account, we have already calculated the closing balance of A, B, and C, the same amount will come here. So for A, it is 26,600, for B, 24,400, and for C, 12,250. In the total, it makes 61,250. Therefore, if we plus all these, we will get the liability side total as 78,250. Now come on the asset side. First thing, plan and machinery. We see that in our old balance sheet, the plan and machinery is rupees 12,000, but in the adjustment, it is said to reduce our plan and machinery by rupees 2,000. So 12,000 minus 2,000 is 10,000. Next is land and building. In the old balance sheet, the land and building is rupees 14,000, 
but in the adjustment it says to increase our the land and building by rupees 4000 so 14000 plus 4000 is 18000 next we have theaters we, when we look into the old balance sheet we see that the theater is 19000 and there is also a provision of rupees 4000 but in the adjustment the provision has to be written back so only the whole data is good so data will be 19000 next is stock in the old balance sheet the stock is rupees 16 6000 and since there is no adjustment regarding stock the same amount will come in this new balance sheet also so stock will be rupees 6000 the last is cash in the old balance sheet the cash is rupees 3000 but we will add the premium bought in by c and also the capital brought by c which is 10,000 and 12,250. So when we plus all these, we get a total of rupees 25,250. So therefore, if we plus all the asset side, we get we also get a total of rupees 78,250. We have come to the end of this video. So I have given some homework, which is from book question, question number 107, 109, and 111. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.